Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel the Appalachian Home and to another Inkscape tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to curve text in Inkscape. It's a really simple way without going through a bunch of different steps. So we're just going to be drawing a circle, drawing some text, and placing that text on our curve. So the first thing I always do whenever I'm starting in Inkscape is go to File and Document Properties and I like to always work in inches but you can work in um, whatever units that you want. There's millimeters, uh, pixels, centimeters, but for today I'm going to be working in inches. You can also use your page border if you want that, if you're working with a letter size sheet or a legal size sheet um, and you want to use that as a reference, you can definitely do that. I'm just going to be turning mine off today because I'm going to be working with a sized image. You can also turn on your checkerboard background if it makes things easier to see for you or if you're working in, with white images, but um, I'm just going to be leaving my white background on today. So after um, you have all of that taken care of, the first thing I'm going to be doing is creating my curve that I'm actually going to be putting my text on. So I'm going to be using a circle. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here to my circle icon on the left of my screen, and it is this little pink circle here. So click on that. And I'm also going to be holding down my control key on my keyboard. For a PC, you're going to use control. Click on your screen and drag out a circle. And it will be a proportional circle. And then up here in my dimensions box, I'm going to resize this to about 12 inches. And if you hit the minus or plus key on your keyboard, that will zoom in and out. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is going to go um, up here to object, fill and stroke. And this comes up on the right side of your screen. And fill and stroke is just the paint colors. The fill is the inside of the image and the stroke is the line around your image. So I'm going to turn off my fill so I can see this a little bit better. And I'm just going to go under fill and hit X and that turns it off. Um, if you turn off stroke, you will not be able to see your circle at all. So I'll leave that stroke on for now and I'll just turn it on by hitting this first square. I'm also going to stroke style and right now the, the thickness of my line is 0.074. I'm just going to change that to 0 0.05 and thin it down just a little bit. So now I have my curve, I can go ahead and create my text. And I'll go under the text icon and click that and then I'll click on my screen and go ahead and type out my text. And then I'll go ahead and go up here and make sure this lock box is checked and resize the length of that to 12 inches because that's the size that I want. Is it select my text, hit the shift key and select my circle. Then you'll go up here to text and put on path and now you can see the text has been placed on the curve. Now you can click on your text only and move it different places. Um, you can also click on it twice until your rotation arrow keys, they look like these little rounded arrows, um, appear and then you can click on that and drag your text however you want it to appear. The text and the circle are joined so if I got rid of my circle my text would go back to being straight. So you want to keep that circle. After you have curved your text, you can go back in and change it. You can change your font. And that's the good thing about Inkscape text feature. You don't have to have all of your font perfect and your font size perfect before you curve your text. I'm going to be using this Cami Ray font and you can also go back and change whatever it is you've typed out after your text has been curved. And you can move it, click on it twice to bring up those rotation handles, and rotate it to wherever you're happy with it. Click on your circle. You'll go back down here to your fill and stroke that you brought up. Um, your fill's already turned off. I'm going to go to my stroke paint and turn that off. And the circle is still here, but you cannot see it. So now I'm. Uh, you can either go to File and Save As. Go to the drop down box and save it as a plain SVG. If you do that, it can be used in Cricut Design Space or even in Silhouette. Or you can go to File, Export PNG, export this image as a PNG to be used in cutting files or um, just to print out, however you wanted to use that. So I hope you found this helpful on how to curve text in Inkscape. If you have any questions on how to create a certain image or text, please leave them in the comments below this video and I'll try to get to that as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.